Welcome to Biomass Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jill Nelson. Mark your calendar now for next year's International Biomass Conference and Expo, taking place February 3rd through the 5th in Nashville. This is the world's largest biomass event. Visit biomassconference.com to learn more. The U.S. EPA has announced plans to hold a public hearing July 31st in Michigan on its proposed rule to set 2020 renewable volume obligations and the 2021 RVO for biomass-based diesel under the Renewable Fuel Standard. The agency released the rulemaking on July 5th. It proposes to require 20 billion gallons of renewable fuels to be blended with the U.S. fuel supply next year up from 19.9 billion gallons in 2019. When compared to the 2019 RVOs, the proposal would increase the RVO for cellulosic biofuel by 120 million gallons. Read more in our online coverage. Orsted has announced that the biomass conversion of its Denmark-based power station is nearly complete. In early July, the company said the first shipment of wood chips has arrived on site and the project team is preparing to fire up the boilers with wood chips for the first time. Once fully operational, the biomass unit will have the capacity to produce 25 megawatts of power as well as process steam for district heating. It will supply process steam to a variety of operations, including Novozymes Enzyme production plant. The Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality Permit Board has unanimously approved Enviva's permit to begin construction of its proposed 1.4 million metric ton per year pellet plant in Mississippi. The approval followed an extended public comment period, a well-attended public hearing, and hundreds of public comments. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the biomass industry's top stories.